Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your brother with another reminder today. Um, when the Prophet وسلم, was near the end of his life and he was about to complete his mission, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a surah with glad tidings to him. And when he recited this surah to the Sahaba, Abu Bakr, who he started weeping profusely. Uh, the surah says, Ida ja Nasrullahi wal Fatah. You know, when when the help of Allah comes, when the support of Allah comes, and Fatah, the great opening. Uh, You're going to see many people enter into the deen of Allah in, in groups. So glorify your Lord and, and praise Him and, and make istighfar. And He's often turning back to, to His servants. So... When Abu Bakr who he heard this, he started crying, and the other Sahaba didn't know why because this surah has great, you know, glad tidings. But he understood from it that the mission of the Prophet وسلم, has come to its end, and and the victory is coming. And uh, he was right. This was one of the the last surahs that was revealed to him, وسلم. According to some of the scholars, this was the last revelation. There is a debate about it. But either way, the Prophet ﷺ, he also promised us that about every hundred years or so, there will be a revival in this ummah. And each one will be weaker than the last one. However, he mentioned ﷺ that the end of time, uh, there will be a peak in this ummah where great things are going to happen. A lot of people are going to have a spiritual realizations and openings and and uh, this is the time of, of, of great uh, Nasr from Allah and Fatah from Allah. So a lot of people have been looking forward to Mahdi Muntadar and all these things. So it will be a time where, a time of, of spiritual awakening. And I believe every opening that comes, it happens after a period of, of constriction. If you look at the examples in the Quran, for example, uh, Yusuf Ali Salam was in the in the well in the darkness of the well before he was rescued and and brought to Egypt and, and started living in the house of the minister. And also after that he was in jail in, in the dungeon uh, before he was made into um, you know one of the one of the leaders in Egypt. Uh, you look at the story of Musa alayhi salam when he was in a hopeless situation, uh, confronted by an army behind him, mountain to the right, mountain to the left and sea in front of them when even the Bani Israel who were with them, they, they gave up. They said, Inna la mudrakun, you know, we are doomed. We should have never followed you. And he said, Kalla inna ma ya rabbi. No, Allah is with me. Sayyidin, he's going to guide me. And in that hopeless situation, everything seemed like it was closing down. Suddenly, Allah created an opening. Uh, in the time of the Prophet, وسلم, he used to uh, go to the mountain seeking seeking uh, this this truth and and he was witnessing all the atrocities in Mecca in the Jahiliyyah time and when when he finally had the opening it started with constriction Jibril alayhi salam came and squeezed him and when he was squeezed he said he said his lungs were almost going to burst and then he let him go and said iqra read he said mana bi qari i don't know how to read so it all began with constriction followed by expansion and Allah says in the Quran إِنَّمَا الْأُسْرِ يُسْرَى right? With every hardship there is ease that comes. And so with this trial that's upon us, a lot of people are reflecting, they're thinking more if they're not on Netflix or, and watching shows after shows, but more people are now turning inwards uh, as they're confined and they're, they're, they're feeling this constriction. And of course, naturally, the, the step after it is expansion, which is an indication of a great revival that's about to come, inshallah, a lot of people are going to be experiencing uh, openings, you know, and, and if you look at Google Trends on what people are searching lately, people are searching for dreams, meanings of dreams, and so more people are having dreams, more people are, are, are witnessing things, and uh, all in all, uh, uh, I think, inshallah ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us witnesses to this time is coming, inshallah. So while we are in that time, you know the Prophet ﷺ, he told the Sahaba 
I miss my brothers. And they said, Ya Rasulullah, are we not your brothers? He said, you're my ashab. He said, my brothers are going to come in a time, you know, and they will believe in me and they haven't seen me. And he mentioned about them, he said, one of their good deeds is equal to 50. Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, 50 of our deeds are their deeds. He said, 50 of your deeds. So imagine you do something, it's equal to 50 times the amount of work the Sahaba would have to go through to get the same ajr. So, so we are in these times. And uh, alhamdulillah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, choose us and to, to use us to expand this light and to spread this light and this knowledge of, of mercy and compassion and love. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the hearts of the people open to it because uh, when Islam peaks, it's not going to happen by itself. When, when the whole world starts to going through this revival, it's not going to happen by itself. It will, it will be at the hands of the people of Allah. And it will be by the efforts of the people of Allah, by the help of Allah, by the, by the blessings of, this, of the, the Qur'an in the, in the Prophet Wasallam, of course. But it, it requires some effort. And so uh, this is the time to, to, to turn inwards and to, to build ourselves up. So when we are called upon, we are ready to help, inshallah. Uh, to, to you know, and, and, and it's a time to build our character according to the character of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah bless you, jazakallah khair, and uh, inshallah stay safe with your families and keep us in your du'as. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.